You're listening to Living Better in San Diego. I'm Vicki Pepper. Donating to the Salvation Army Red Kettle is a tradition that goes back to 1891, and this year the need has never been greater. Your donation to the Salvation Army will help local families in need put food on the table this holiday season. On the line to tell us more is Colonel Lee Lisconso of the Salvation Army. Thank you for joining me, and congratulations on your promotion since we last spoke a couple years ago. Yes, thank you so much. It's good to be with you. Colonel Lisconso, the Salvation Army Red Kettle tradition is back this year. Tell us how and when it began. Actually, all the way back in 1891, there was a Salvation Army officer, Captain Nick Fee, and he wanted to feed the hungry. They were like a thousand people that in San Francisco at the time during the holidays that he wanted to feed. And he wasn't sure how to raise enough money to buy the food. He was in Liverpool, England, and he remembered being there before and seeing a large iron kettle. It was called the Simpsons Pot. And that's a pot where pastor buyers could toss in coins to help the poor. So Captain Maffei thought, well, that's a good idea. So he made a, a similar pot where he was, and this was actually it, it, now when he was in Oakland, near the foot of Market Street. And near the pot, he put a little sign that said, you know, keep the pot boiling. He soon had enough money to feed all the needy people that Christmas. And that really took off as the Salvation Army's red kettle tradition. And who benefits from this kettle fundraiser? The money that comes through the kettles actually supports not only our Christmas program where we help uh, kids with toys and families uh, with food for Christmas, but it really supports our programs year round. It'll restock our food pantries and people can come throughout the year to receive food. It'll help our after school programs. It will even help give bus passes to those who need to get to their jobs or other kind of emergency assistance like that. Sometimes clothing and school supplies. And in cases where we can, we do uh, rental assistance or utility assistance. So the Red Kettle fundraiser will help support those kinds of services throughout the year. And is there a family who has benefited from your services that really stands out to you? Not a particular family, but I know in Christmas distribution where I've been there with the families and, and seen them come through, I, I just and sometimes they bring the children, even though they're getting the toys for them, and to see their faces, realizing that it's not going to be as bleak as they thought, and to see the appreciation that is just expressed by the families is always heartwarming. And are you expecting more families to be in need of your services this holiday season? Yes. The recession has really hit people hard and their families have been right on the edge anyway. And now they're struggling. The whole effects of COVID and price of gas, everything seems to just escalate and pile into particularly families that, like I say, are just getting by. And so we really do expect that we'll see that this year and that the more and more families will come, not only at Christmas, but uh, in the first of the year. I'm speaking with the Salvation Army's Colonel Lee Lisconso. How important is the Salvation Army Red Kettle tradition to your overall fundraising efforts? It's a fairly large portion of the funds are raised for some of our units here in San Diego County. But really, it means more than that as well. The the red kettle is sort of a symbol. It's actually been in uh, Christmas movies. You can go back and look at the old Christmas movies and you'll see the bell ringers there. And uh, since, as I said, since 1897, uh, the kettle has been part of the American tradition. I think that it's just a good icon to remind people that while we shop for our families and we gather and we celebrate, it's good to remember those who may have less and those who are struggling. And so it gives Americans the opportunity to give back, care for their neighbors who are in need. Is there anything special about this year's campaign that we should know about? Yes. I think the main thing is that the kettle, that iconic red kettle we're talking about, you'll actually see less and less of the physical kettles. COVID certainly started that uh, trend downward, and there's stores who are just being you know, more careful and not allowing anyone to be out front. And so we're finding it difficult to find places to hold that red kettle. So it's important that, that people find other ways. We're putting things like tip tap and QR codes on the kettles, but also really trying to stress now uh, virtual fundraising through our virtual kettles. And the sdredkettle.org is a way that anyone can actually put 
on their social media, their Facebook page, a red kettle and help raise funds for the Salvation Army and for those in need this year. And how do we find a physical red kettle? There are stores that are still allowing us to do that. If you uh, have a Hobby Lobby in your area, we should be at the Hobby Lobbies. Some of the Walmarts will be able to be there. Ralph's and Food for Less are another one that we do have agreements with and will be. So hopefully you'll be able to see them somewhere in your community in front of one of those stores. And do you need volunteers to be bell ringers? Uh, Yes, all the Salvation Army Corps and Community Centers use volunteers to stand the kettles, and we'd love to have that. They can just contact any one of their local Salvation Armies, and they should be able to put them to work at our Red Kettle. I've been speaking with Colonel Lelis Gonzo of the Salvation Army. Any last thoughts for us? And tell us again how we can participate in the virtual fundraiser. Yes, sdredkettle.org is the best way to do that. You can go to there and there's a way to actually donate directly or to place that icon and that red kettle on your social media page. And then others can contribute and and help you raise funds for those who are really in need. There also are toys. Any one of our Salvation Army Corps and Community Centers are giving toys out to children this year. And some of them are still a little bit short. And so if you have a brand new unwrapped toy you would like to take to a Salvation Army just to bring joy to a child this Christmas, uh, just drop it off at a Salvation Army. Thank you so much for talking with us today. And thank you for making a difference in our community. I hope the Red Kettle Fundraiser is a huge success. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.